The SEC just denied another ETF and Ted Cruz wants to pay in crypto for your snacks next. Those articles and then we're going to go talk about Putin's ashes. I or I can't really say at this moment, but it's definitely from a very popular artist. Next on OG Crypto and NFTs, welcome everyone. My name is Troy, and every day we go over digital assets as well as non-fungible tokens or NFTs. Now, before we jump into it, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button right, right there. There you go. All right, let's jump into it. A second time around, here comes ARK. You know, ARK21 shares Bitcoin ETF gets denied. Come on, guys. We know what Gary Gensler wants. You're not paying him enough. Let's be honest. This has happened with Grayscale, who's suing the, the uh, SEC right now over them not accepting their Bitcoin ETF. It's a complete mess. We need to get Gary Gensler out. Why go through the headache, the money, you name it. You need to get him out. Now, there's been a lot of positive things from Tom Ebers. Uh, Emmers, I should say, and uh, uh, an uh, several other House of Representatives that now are gearing up to go after Gary, and they're going to attack them. Now, if we go back to the history of Gary Genzer and the CFTC, once he started getting attacked, he bailed like a chicken with a wolf coming into the hen house. He just went flying out. And with that being said, I think that nobody should be going at doing anything with crypto right now until you figure out or they figure out when they're gonna drag his to the hill and have him in front of Congress and put all the pressure on him. And then we're also gonna see, you know, whether uh, Commissioner Pierce at the SEC is going to go and jump on their side or is she just gonna be the good cop, bad cop to Gary that she's been in the last 30 days? Next, Ted Cruz wants lawmakers who get the munchies to use crypto at the congressional vending machines. Dude, this is hilarious. But you know, this is just, again, the adoption of crypto. Why not put it there? You know, he's been pro crypto now for a couple of years and he sees that, he sees the future and he doesn't wanna fight the blue team and their issues with crypto. He just wants to go forward and see it. So it says, Ted Cruz wants to support wider adoption of crypto, allowing it to be accepted at vending machines. He filed a reintroduction of resolutions toward the goal this week. Cruz says foreign tourists will benefit as crypto payments will be free from costly transaction fees. I love it. Uh, again, it's just, you just want to continue to see adoption. You know, all the FUD that's going on in the last 90 days, the campaigns from Jim Cramer to, you know, uh, what's his name uh, from uh, JP Morgan, Jamie Dimon. They just, everyone keeps coming out and saying how bad, you know, crypto is. You shouldn't get into it. And then they turn around and what do they do? They accumulate. They're whispering. They're accumulating. They don't want you to know. It. Because Jim Cramer is our next article here. And Jimmy is, again, Mr. Negative. He says, Jim Cramer explains what's behind the recent crypto surge. He blames man complete market manipulation. Now, I don't think he's too far off of this. I actually believe a lot of this as well. What have they made you do in the last, what, three, four, five months? They said, take your money, take your crypto off of exchanges. FTX goes down, you lose all your money. So everyone's been just bailing out of these exchanges and there's leaving very little on the exchange. And what does that do? All those manipulators come in, they say, okay, we'll buy up what, whatever little's on the exchanges. We're gonna pump Bitcoin up. And once Bitcoin gets pumped up, all the altcoins go with it. And here comes retail foaming in and FOMOing in. And this isn't really that big of a special pump. It's not going into a bull market, which a lot of influencers who also get a little moolah on the side, you know, to pump this up. And then you know what they do? You got it. They short that out of the market and they watch it go down while once again retail holds it and your favorite influencer tells you a month from now so i told you so it wasn't gonna last it wasn't yeah you just said it was the bottom come on ran neuter 
You just saw it was a bottom this month already. And when it falls below, you're going to be the first one to say, next. Let's jump into it. NFTs, I'm going to bring on the lovely Emmy, our producer. How you doing, Emmy, the producer? Hi, I'm good. How are you? You were excited when we saw this Coindesk article. Yes. Okay. So this is called Proof of Protest. And we actually spoke about uh, that they were going to be doing this NFT a while ago because they had the idea when they had their original uh, anti-Putin performance. So this is an artist called Pussy Riot. They are from Russia, mm -hmm. I believe. And uh, they teamed up with the Obey brand creator and street artist Shepard Ferry to raise money for Ukraine through their NFT collection. So what had happened was they had an anti-Putin performance and they burned a photo of him. They then took those ashes and used it in this art for raising money for Ukraine. And all the money is going to be going to troops in the Ukraine. And I think this is awesome. Yes. This is so fun. This is very much on brand for the uh, band. And Nadia was actually imprisoned for two years in a labor camp. So I feel like this isn't just some punk thing to do just <laughs> to do it. Like this is something she actually experienced and truly believes in. Uh, and I think it's just such a them thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. Awesome. So what, when are they launching and how much is it going to cost? It launches today and it is uh, 10 Tez. It's on the uh, Tezos blockchain and it is at the marketplace object okay and so if you want to be part of this revolution what do you do today uh you would just go ahead and link up a wallet mm -hmm. and purchase one for 10 bucks very okay cheap and yeah this is well cool. they're also going to be having a uh, performance mm -hmm. at an art gallery uh jeffrey dietrich gallery when is that going to happen? Today. 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 And where is Jeffrey Dietrich Gallery at? Uh, so, somewhere in Los Angeles. So that's very fun. Is that very fun? That's very so fun. So how much is 10 Tezos? It's like $11. It's 11 bucks. It's super affordable for this very, very fun. Shepard Ferry created this. Like he's so famous that yeah. he's as a street artist. So I think this is like, I, I might pick this up. I'm picking, I, I think I'm going to pick one up myself. This is so great. Like, <laughs> this is awesome. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it to see this going on. It, it's, you know, it's, it's good art. It is it's good, good art. cause. Yeah. And you know, it's like, it's, you know, going after, you know, a good, a, good, a really good cause. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think this is super cool. I like this one. Well guys, thank you very much for joining us today. I hope you have, I hope you are part of the riot. That's gonna happen in Los Angeles. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, if not, pick up one of these for 11 bucks. Mm -hmm. Very cheap, uh, good cause. And we will see you on Monday. Bye.